counting down. What an incredible clip from the Nemesis to start this episode off. Moving on, it's Mind Spinners, and this is the Commando Carbine rushing in on a game of grind, getting a five-man sniping a grenade. Alongside a couple of other kills, what an epic clip. Now for one of the most impressive clips I've seen on the top plays in a long time. I saw it on Reddit and luckily Scrub also sent it in to me on the top plays, which is really awesome. I was hoping that he'd send it in and it's such an epic clip. Playing on Operation Underground, this is an absolutely crazy map, especially when you're playing on Conquest and can get this flank around the side. Grind being a mode that makes it trickier to get around the side, but you still can just about before you bleed out or drown underwater I suppose. Closes the doors getting himself in the perfect position before getting in my opinion the best flank I've seen on Battlefield 5 so far. Next up is the rush shot, a regular offender on the top plays with a great spray down on Rotterdam. A few members of the enemy team quickly dispatched before moving on to a perfect headshot revolver streak. Fasal SA-8 is next with a Battlefield Rambo moment. Using the Suomi, he gets an insane spray down. It's John Wick next up, and unsurprisingly, he goes on an incredible killing spree. He's got the Lewis gun, and he's located behind the entire enemy team. What an opportunity to take them all down. Khalifa 98 is next, a shotgun streak on Operation Underground. Sir Hat Yen is next, pretty much the same thing that we just saw, but it's going to be with an MG42. Moves up the stairs here, finds the enemy team camping, goes prone, and blasts them all away. Prophet RKS is coming in with a six-man using the iron sights once again on Operation Underground, a map that provides some really hectic moments, but an unconventional loadout that he somehow makes work. Thank fucking God, dude. This episode of the Battlefield Top Plays is sponsored by Instant Gaming. If you're looking for some cheap game keys, either on PS4, Xbox, or PC, check out the link in the description down below. You can find all sorts down there, whether it's Battlefield, or a new game that you're looking for, or even a gift for a friend. You'll also be helping out the channel at the same time. Welching is playing on Rotterdam, 
Live on stream, getting a really satisfying ZK383 streak in the medic class on Bravo Objective, turning the flag for his team. A few campers are taken down, but the movement is great. He gets lucky a few times as well with some enemy players that go for revives instead of trying to take him out. But that point score and the work he's doing on that flag cannot be underestimated. So many kills. Eros is coming in with a clip titled how to use an MG42 and starting things off he throws an impact grenade by the looks of it at somebody's face which is also quite entertaining. Going aggro and Rambo with the MG42 is great stuff. Realises he doesn't need to reload this thing as it comes with plenty of rounds in that first belt or magazine or whatever you want to call it. Goes crazy, smashing enemy players on Bravo, capping the flag over 2,000 points before then going on another tear into the enemy's faces. Zift is coming in with a satisfying sniping streak. On grind, we've seen so many grind clips recently and I'm really enjoying it. It'll soon be gone and we'll be back to normal, but for the most part, I'm enjoying all of these grind streaks. It's nice to get a sniping one though. Using the Type 99, he blasts through the enemy players with some very accurate infantry gameplay. Definitely. Stop camping, noobs. <laughs> That's what they said. Palajib is next, MG42, Rotterdam. A lot of enemy players are above him, you can tell by the minimap. He rushes around the corner, up the stairs, and destroys them all. Two clips from Bebe Linux. This is starting on Twisted Steel in the Medic class. To start things off, he's just on fire, trying to get that fire off him. Should go prone, really, and get out of the way of it. Manages to survive, jumps around the corner, and, well, the enemy team's right in front of him. Second clip is a 12G Operation Underground Blast. Gets so many players taken out, I wonder if DICE will do something about this weapon in the 5.2 update. It certainly is very, very powerful and ruins a lot of players' experience on Operation Underground. A clip sent in from Daz, a four-man, followed by a five-man with the Lee Enfield on Hamada.
EN98 is coming in with two clips. The first, playing on grind, Twisted Steel, getting up close and personal with this Type 99. Supreme accuracy, the fact that he hits headshots at that range. Utilizing the bayonet as well to stab that camper in the back. A throwing knife to that guy's face before another destroyed with his revolver. And then a few more kills on these other players. The next clip he sent in is a satisfying sniping streak off the bridge on Rotterdam against a lot of enemy players. Two clips from EXO. These include some very awesome aiming. It's a twitch style, basically where you're going from one target to the other with as little latency as possible. A high sense helps with this, but also you can just be an accurate player. He's getting better and better every time he sends clips in, which is great to watch. And sometimes it's just nice to watch this ability on the top plays. The second clip is once again a similar style. He's running the config file or the TAA fix as some people know it to get better performance on Battlefield 5. Some people's PCs just can't handle it. Unfortunately it does make the game look like rubbish on Operation Underground. But it doesn't matter because his accuracy makes up for it. A very nice short little streak in the medic class. Magical Amazing's coming in with a 14-man Narvik flank. This is one of those clips where, if it was me, I'd have been shot coming up this ladder. It doesn't matter how much smoke I put down, what I do, I would have been shot. He somehow manages to survive it and then picks up a big spray down on enemy players. Just a few kills before finishing the rest of them off in, as I said, a 14-man flank. Two clips from Max Eek, the Headshot King, and you'll see that in this first one. <laughs> Dude, that was all headshots. No way. How to use your bullets. The second clip is again very satisfying with the trench carbine, twisted steel, the typical flank. We've seen so many of them today. Tried to bunch them up all into one video. He gets a lot of kills on Bravo with that brand new Model 27. That was six people with six shots. It wasn't all headshots, but that was pretty sick. That's my first six man with the model. Damn, I'll take that. If I didn't need to prove my point with a Suomi, check out this clip from Victor Scar as he racks up an incredible amount of points against all of these camping enemy players. Just so easy. Don't even need to ADS half the time. This thing will just laser them. IDC aimbots next up using the Suomi. This gun needs a nerf. I don't care what anybody says. This thing is absolutely insane. The fact it has a 50 round magazine just takes the biscuit. And also with enemy players that either don't shoot back or can't aim, you can't really lose. An epic streak. Preacher RKS has a nine-man feed. 
Once again, pushing Bravo. On Twisted Steel, DICE could really do with introducing a few new maps on this grind mode, I think, because I find myself repeating what I say every other clip. Doesn't matter, though, with a clip like this. Headshot after headshot on these camping enemies. Okay, next shot. Sammy CHCH is next, Operation Underground pushing the stairs, a big point stack with the overpowered 12G. Way by is next, pushing up the stairs. Unfortunately, he has a very weird resolution. Maybe to improve FPS, I'm not too sure, but it doesn't take anything away from the clip. A nice bit of lean peeking there just to survive that initial engagement before pushing on to the rest of the enemies. And in today's clip of What the Hell Am I Watching, a clip from Raviot, maybe your name's pronounced, not too sure, is one of those that just makes you think, what the hell is going on? Yes, a couple of easy kills at the top of Bravo, but then I think he forgets what he's doing, panics a little, so just lies down on the floor, picks up a cheeky grenade kill there as well. His team push up with him, but from there on, it's like the enemy players don't really see him. Maybe he's invisible. None of them see him. It's incredible. And he also really struggles to reload his weapon as well. Could have had so many more kills. Pretty crazy stuff. Thanks for watching this episode of the Battlefield Top Plays. If you did enjoy, leave a like down below. And remember to send your clips in to battlefieldtopplays at gmail.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode.